Minneapolis. So soon we will be heading over there to the Minnesota side to the Great Alma Fishing Flow. That's where we'll be diving tomorrow, throwing some magnets, and there is the dam. Pretty neat. I got people from my hometown, Lena, Wisconsin, over here. They call on my phone. What's up, Gary and Kim? Hello, oh. Mr. Ed. You get to see it. You guys staying the night over here or what? Yeah, we're staying for a week okay. at Merrick State Park. Wow! Just waiting for the boat to come back for the great Alma fishing float. Right now, they're currently bringing people over, and these guys get to sit in the heat, 100 some degrees right now. And how do you how do you like it? Feels like 107. Yeah. Yeah. It's not cold. Let's get a ride here on the Great Alma Fishing Float Barge. Coming in hot. Taylor. This is how we doing? Pretty good, man. How you doing? I'm good. It's hot. It's hot today. Alma Fishing Float. Great. Great Alma Fishing. All aboard! By Wisconsin, heading over to Michigan. Minnesota. <laughs> heading over to Minnesota. With Captain Taylor. Hello, everybody. So you got an event going on tonight? Yes, we have the Real Kids Youth Fishing. It's the last night. They start school again pretty soon, so yeah. this is the last night. Every Wednesday they do this from uh, whenever school ends until now. We saw that you had some uh, some visitors last night that caught a gar, walleye. Yeah, a little bit of everything from the overnight guys. Those guys are from somewhere near Illinois. Okay. They came. So we have overnight bunk rooms over there. That's pretty cool. Right there is not very deep. There's a big rock pile there. I became acquainted with it the other day with my little boat. I thought I passed by and I was too close and I smoked my oh, no. lower unit. Is that right where it's a little calmer out here? Yeah, well you can see where the grass is kind of popping yep. up too, yeah. Right there, it's pretty bad rocks. That used to be the tip of this island, but the flood from the 65 wiped that hole into the island now and turned it into this little channel here. How long have you been here for? I've been fishing the float for about 10 years, and I've only owned it for just one year now. And it was nice to see that, uh, that Tim at Riverside? Yeah. He's wearing your hat. Yes, he is. <laughs> so here we go, coming up on the... Usually if I wear my shirt, I wear his hat. And if I wear his shirt, I wear my hat. Yeah, they're nice people. The great Alma... Is it Alma or Alma? Alma, Alma, I don't really know. I think it depends on your accent. The great Alma fishing float. I guess I'm so used to that little bump sometimes. All right, we're gonna go around here and check around and get ready for dive tomorrow. What do we got? Oh, sure, thank you. This is the life. It's a lot better than it was right after the float. Right after the float, it's awful. Look at a lot of minnows in here. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. A lot of fish hanging out over here, huh? Oh yeah. I'm not overly fancy, but it's a place to sleep right So it's people come easy. here and sleep and oh, chill yeah. out? Oh, basement, okay. Like random stuff we keep in there. Yeah, that's where we put the divers. <laughs> the divers? Oh, Jason, you're a diver, right? I can't fit down here. <laughs> and there's two more bunks over here. Well, this one's AC cooled, huh? That one's AC too, it just takes a lot longer. All right, cool. That one might be even colder in there. Wow, it is nice. <laughs> so you got three rooms, and so that three first one. four bunks. Four bunks per each room? Yep, so we can fit 12 people. Sometimes you get guys that don't even want to sleep, so sometimes like there's a group of 20 people, yeah. all in one group they came out here, none of them even touched the rooms. Oh, wow. They fished all night. 
I got here at 7 a.m. and they're like, yeah. Oh yeah, they did really good. Fishing's good at night. There's another little one in here. Actually, a little cooler in here. And other four bunks. Wow. It's a good spot to come hang out with the boys. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, nice. yeah, it's nice yeah. in here, isn't it? Spring and fall, we're full. Yeah. We get, I'm already filling for next year already. The fishing's great this spring and fall, but summertime it tends to be a little slower. We yeah. had a big group last night, and we're full this weekend. Well, actually, we're probably full for the rest of the year and weekend, too. Wow. We get filled up quick on the weekends. Fridays and Saturdays are big days. Fun place. It is, and then we'll show you the cafe. So this is the old, uh, the old store, huh? Yeah, the cafe. cafe. So we got like candy. Soda, water in there. Yeah. And then I'm low on pizza, yeah. but we got Pizzas. pizza. Yeah. Just a couple more storage spots. A little pantry right there. Yeah. And then I got my own personal fridge with my own food and stuff in it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool place. Yeah, it is. That well, look at this. You can even look out here. Look at the river, the view of the bluffs in the background. Oh yeah, sweatshirts and stuff over there. Yeah, someone said they found it. They lost about uh, 30 heretics on it. Oh, that guy's probably. Me and him both. It's hard to, to get to the gauge because it takes a long to hit the bottom because it's hurting. Yeah. It can't be much deeper than eight to ten. And I think you might get twelve to fifteen in the area. Is it a rocky down here? Or is it um, over here is mostly mud stuff. The closer you get to the, the dam over there, like that wouldn't be a bad spot to check out either. I said, oh, I'm gonna miss that. There's a lot of rock over there. Yeah. What's he yeah. got? What's he got? Sheep. Sheep head. But it also can lure sweaty kids. Okay. Um, to catch fish and help you help them keep going, but there's a whole box of uh, oh, okay. spoons. They don't sell them anymore. It's from my family. They donate a lot of boxes to me. So good luck with them. They catch right. fish and all that. Thank you. No problem. Here you go, bud. Get some fish, okay? <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, do you want some fish for spoons? No eggs? They're free. You thank him? Sauger. Hey, Look at that. You got it. Thank you. You got a sauger. <laughs> yeah, he was eating down at the animal next to us. What do you think? The kid's smart. <laughs> yeah, keep up the good work, man. I feel like we're gonna come and catch my pike on that. Look at that. What do you think? You're awesome. <laughs> good luck fishing. Awesome. It's nice. Look at yeah. that. Don't drop it in the water. It's all yours. Yeah. Yeah, there's some dead. Oh yeah. Some dead baby. Yeah, that's where I get the buckets for when people don't have their own. They keep sucker nose in here, mm -hmm. fat head nose in here. Keep like extra jigs and stuff in there. Yep. And then I have night collars in the fridge behind it. So like, oh, nice. They it's not warm. cold in here. No. You go. I think it is. I think it is. Yep. Like everyone says, oh, you got her down. Well, yeah, after doing it every day for seven straight months, you get good at it. And then you cut close balls like this one. Yeah. Nice. Well, thanks, man. We'll, thanks, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you guys. You too. What was your guys' name? Oh, Jason and uh, Travis. It's nice to meet you, they man. They call him Silent J. We just got a, got him a logo yesterday. Yeah, Silent J. Got a new logo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just Travis. He's got to earn it yet. He's got to earn it. Eventually. Uh, no. You got to have the personality. You have a uh, room available for three men? No, we do not. You do not? No. no. Okay.